A Tobago woman and her three children are now homeless and all of the children's school supplies for the new term destroyed following a fire that gutted their home in Plymouth late Monday night. Our Tobago reporter Patricia Nicholson spoke with the homeowner who gave an account of what occurred. Maurice Glod told C News she left home around 9.30 p.m. and went to her father's house to have her children's hair combed. A few minutes later, one of her friends who was in her company at the time received a phone call alerting her about the fire. So I ran in the room and I tell my daddy, well, they see my house burning down and now leave home. He said, where do you leave anything on? I said, no, I said, I just leave. I said, the only thing I did was plug in my phone and I unplug my phone and my charger and leave. She said when she eventually got home, her house was no more. Fire officials said when they arrived on the scene, the house was totally engulfed in flames and all efforts to save the wooden structure failed. They were not able to determine what had caused the fire. Nothing was on. The only thing I did because I went inside just five minutes before I left home. And the only thing I did was plug in my phone to charge and on leaving I took my phone and the charger. So nothing was plugged in. The estimated cost of the house is $414,000, inclusive of its contents. What makes the situation even more difficult for her, she said, is that all her children's school supplies have been destroyed. Well, basically, everything is gone. Clothes, books, shoes, whatever they had, everything is gone. The only thing I'm left with is this dress that you see me have on here. And my kids just have few stuff from what they done by my dad with, but everything else was good. Community Emergency Response Team CERT is assisting the family with food, clothing and a temporary home. The fire had spread to a small hardware business in the same yard, but was extinguished before it could destroy the building. Ms. God is asking for assistance from anyone willing to help her. She can be contacted at 747-0310 or... 356-8613. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News.